You should stop seeing this person. I went to my parents' house with my fiancé to greet them for our marriage. The room fell silent when my nine-year-old niece spoke up. What do you mean? My niece stared at me seriously. Her words made me uneasy because she had a mysterious power to predict the future. Then, she said something that shocked me even more. My name is Nova. I'm 33 years old, and I'm single. I'm a primary school teacher and have been working hard at my job for a long time, but I've recently started to think about getting married and starting a family. I have an older sister who is three years older than me and a cute nine-year-old niece named Jana. Every time I see her, I feel a strong desire to have children. At that time, I met Logan who was two years older than me and worked for a major construction company, at a matchmaking party I decided to attend. We hit it off from the start, and we started dating with the intention of getting married. Meeting him was like a ray of sunshine in my life, which had been all work and no play. However, things began to change after we had been dating for a year. At first, we exchanged emails every day. But gradually, his replies became less frequent. Our weekly dates became once a month, and he went on long business trips, so we couldn't see each other for weeks. But we're both adults now. This is just a sign that our relationship is settling down. I told myself that and tried to get through the anxious days. Then, when I was able to talk to Logan slowly after a long time, I'm sorry I haven't been able to see you lately. I know you have work. It can't be helped. I haven't even been able to greet your parents yet. As I watched him look apologetic, I felt a little happy that he cared about me even though he was busy. However, after that, Logan made an unexpected proposal. But I want to be prepared for everything. I'm thinking of investing in real estate to increase our marriage funds. What do you think? What? Even if you say that suddenly, isn't that something that can also cause losses? Wouldn't it be better to save money steadily? That's so like you, Nova. Actually, my boss and colleagues are also making profits from investments. You know, because of our job, we have easy access to information about land and apartments. Logan explained the appeal of real estate investment with sparkling eyes. When he said that, I started to feel that he might be right, but I couldn't answer him right away. Okay, I understand. I'll let you know when I make up my mind. Thank you. But timing is also important for investments, so please decide within a week. Let's increase our assets and go on a round-the-world honeymoon. After much deliberation, I saw him frolicking innocently and transferred $10,000 to his account as a down payment three days later. Of course, I wasn't completely at ease with giving Logan such a large sum of money, but I trusted the person I had decided to spend my life with. After that, we continued to date smoothly, and he proposed to me formally. When it was decided that we would go to my parents' house to greet them, my sister called me. I'll come with my daughter that day. Jana will help you evaluate your boyfriend. Well, please be gentle with him. I replied jokingly to my sister's comment with a laugh. In fact, my nine-year-old niece has a mysterious power and has predicted many things before. For example, on the day before my parents, sister, niece, and I went on a trip together, Jana said, I have a bad feeling, so let's not go on the trip. We canceled the trip in a hurry. Then, a large fire broke out at the hotel where we were supposed to stay. 
Furthermore, my sister divorced her ex-husband because of his infidelity, which was revealed when my niece said, Daddy, he's meeting a woman I don't know. My sister investigated half-heartedly and questioned her ex-husband, who confessed to his infidelity and led to their divorce. I never dreamed that my niece's ability would reveal such a shocking truth. And then came the day of the meeting my parents for the first time. When the doorbell rang and I opened the door, Logan, who looked nervous, was standing there. Nice to meet you. I'm Logan Smith. I've been dating Nova with the intention of getting married. I'm Nova's father. Take care of my daughter. Hello. I'm Chloe, Nova's sister. Logan, don't be so stiff and relax. The atmosphere in the room became relaxed thanks to my sister's cheerful tone, and the conversation became lively. I was relieved too. However, when I looked at my niece, she had a complicated expression on her face. Huh? Jana, why do you look so unhappy? My niece seemed to want to say something, but when Logan got up to go to the bathroom, she opened her mouth as if she had been waiting for him. You should stop seeing this person. Jana said firmly, and I couldn't shake off my unease. What do you mean? Nova, you're being deceived. If you keep going like this, he'll take all your money. At that moment, I was struck by a shock like being hit on the head with a hammer, and my sister, who saw me like that, looked worried and peered into my face. Nova, you're not giving Logan money or anything, are you? I told my sister about the real estate investment with fear and trembling at her sharp words. Then... The happy mood from earlier disappeared, and the air in the room became tense. For now, let's get through this as if nothing happened. Father proposed quickly and everyone nodded in agreement. When Logan returned to the living room, everyone pretended to be calm. It was good to see you today. Thank you for taking the time to meet me. I look forward to working with you in the future. Logan bowed politely and left my parents' house without noticing anything. After seeing him off, I returned to the room, and Jana opened her mouth apologetically. I'm sorry, Nova. But I still don't like that person. No matter what happens, we're on Nova's side. We'll help if we can. As if agreeing with father's strong words, mother squeezed my hand tightly. Thank you. I want to believe that it's just a mistake, but something's not right. I want to believe in him, but I've already given him a lot of money, and the frequency of our meetings has decreased. If he is trying to cheat me out of my money, it is unforgivable. There's no point in worrying. I decided to take action to uncover the truth myself. First, I decided to investigate Logan's workplace, which I had never doubted before. I called the company he had told me about and asked about him, but they said, there is no employee with that name. It turned out that he had lied about working for a major construction company. I believed him. Was he lying after all? The happy days I had spent with him came to mind vividly, but the truth in front of me seemed to tell me that it was all an illusion. I was looking forward to marrying Logan, but anger surged up inside me that surpassed that feeling. At that time, Logan, who knew nothing, contacted me. Can we meet this weekend? Real estate investment is going really well. Why don't you invest a little more? He proposed further investment, and for now, I decided to go along with it and meet him. Wow! 
I'm surprised. Around the world honeymoon is no longer a dream. Logan was in high spirits as soon as we met at the coffee shop. What are you talking about? You're so shameless. I muttered that in my mind and smiled broadly. Wow, that's amazing. You're really something. I'm going to do it too. So, how much can you invest? He said proudly and immediately brought up the topic of additional funds. That's all I have this month. Sorry, but can Logan cover the rest? It'll be for both of us, so it's okay, right? I handed him $300 with a straight face and watched his reaction. What? Is this all you have? He expressed his dissatisfaction and immediately became upset. It can't be helped. I'll try harder next time to give you more. Well then, I'll be going. Ah, yeah. I said brightly and quickly said, goodbye, to him. Then I jumped into my sister's car, which was parked in the shadow of the shop. Thank you. Is Jana okay? She's fine. I left her at our parents' house. Let's go. Actually, I had asked my sister for help in advance and we were going to follow Logan in her car. It's interesting to see where he's going after giving him $300. After a while, he came out of the shop and got into his car and left. When we followed him, we found out that he had arrived at a casino. I can't believe it. What kind of investment is this? Did he use my money for gambling? My sister and I were quite angry with him, so we continued to follow him for about an hour to make sure we didn't lose him. And then, at the next place Logan went to, I witnessed another shocking fact. No mercy anymore. Yep, just watch. So I decided to confront Logan, who was a repeat offender. When my sister called him to ask about his interest in real estate investment, he became very happy and decided to come to my parents' house that weekend. Chloe, do you want to try investing? On the day of the meeting, Logan, who came reluctantly, began to talk enthusiastically about the appeal of investment as soon as he entered the house. My sister also matched his tone perfectly. But is there really such a good deal? Oh, everyone says that at first. But please have the courage to take the first step. His appearance of passionately talking about the lie of investment was comical, and I couldn't help but look at my sister's face. I want you to tell me something. Where did the $10,300 I gave you go? When I asked him in a strong tone, Logan seemed a little surprised. Where else? It's obviously invested in real estate. Oh, really? I saw you go to the casino after I gave you $300 last time. What? Were you following me? I use my money there. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, I expected that, so I decided to take the next step. And you lied about working for a major construction company. I called the company you told me about. Logan began to look around nervously. You're doing something dirty. Who's the dirty one here? If it comes to this, I'll sue you for defamation. No matter what I said to him, he was useless, and I couldn't get through to him. So I signaled my sister, and she brought a couple of men and women from the next room. Logan didn't seem to know the man, 
but as soon as he saw the woman, his face stiffened. The woman was glaring at him with anger. Why is Amelia here? Actually, Amelia is Logan's wife. The place he went to after leaving the casino was the house where he lived with his wife and children. I realized everything and visited their house when he wasn't there and told Amelia everything about me and Logan. At first, she didn't believe me, but when I showed her photos I had taken with Logan, she understood. Actually, Amelia is the daughter of a wealthy family, and Logan works for a subsidiary of her father's company. They probably got married for money. Logan, you said you would be with me, but you were already married and had children. Your wife already knows everything. Nova, what did you do? Logan held his head in his hands, tears in his eyes, looking pathetic. Amelia was glaring at him with eyes that seemed to see him as something dirty and was talking to the man next to her. I'm Taylor, a lawyer. Your wife wants a divorce because of your betrayal. Can you agree to a divorce? Amelia, I'm sorry. I won't do it again, so please don't divorce me. When Logan clung to Amelia and wouldn't let go, Lawyer Taylor quietly separated them and said in a business-like tone. It's clear that you're at fault. If you don't agree to a divorce, there's no choice but to take legal action. Logan finally calmed down and reluctantly signed the divorce papers. Amelia said, Goodbye forever. And left. Logan was so shocked that he stood there for a while, but then he turned to me and raised his voice. You're the reason we're getting divorced. What are you going to do about it? I'll never forgive you. What? Logan is the one at fault, right? I'll also demand compensation for breaking off the engagement. Hey, that's impossible. Logan sneered at me as if I were stupid. No, it's definitely possible. At the perfect timing, the lawyer intervened and handed me the documents necessary for claiming compensation. You heard it, right? Now sign here. It's better to settle with compensation. Nova can also sue you. Logan grumbled while signing. Is this good enough? I can't believe this happened. I was going to take more money from you. He continued to swear at me without remorse. You haven't learned anything, have you? I know everything. You have a criminal record, don't you? What? Why are you bringing that up? As soon as I found out you were married, I filed a police report. I heard you were arrested for marriage fraud at that time. You might not be able to avoid a prison sentence this time. Good luck. Logan immediately began to tremble and changed his attitude, apologizing to me. I was wrong. I don't want to get caught. Please withdraw the complaint. No. Reflect on what you've done. I told him that and left the rest to the lawyer, leaving the scene. As expected, Logan ended up in police custody for a while. I demanded $20,000 in compensation and the $10,300 I had given him. He also divorced Amelia and paid $30,000 in compensation and lost his job. Even if he comes out of prison in the future, he will have a difficult life. On the other hand, with the support of my warm family, I started a new life. By the way, the other day... Nova... You'll have a good encounter. 
I'm excited about it. How was this story? Please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.